Hi, my name is Jannam Jabari. I'm a professional engineer and I'm also an assistant professor at the University of New Brunswick in the Geodesy and Geomatics Department. I wanted to be a teacher as um, I had dolls at that age as a typical toy that a girl at that age would get and I would set all my uh, dolls around the room and I would teach them stuff and uh, later on in mid school I re started realizing that I was interested into math and uh, physics I had a lovely physics teacher she actually um, told me that with this passion I should have been an engineer so I started thinking about it ever since it kind of uh, developed over time as uh, I got interested in uh, in the field of uh, engineering in, uh, in 2003 I uh, I was an undergrad student and an earthquake uh, in south of Iran uh, happened which was a devastating event and um, Many, many people lost their lives and many houses were destroyed. And at that time, I was just taught that molten sink can actually help with um, disaster management. And I started working on that topic. And in my master's, I developed a map for and uh, for the earthquake. And then I, I couldn't stop thinking of how useful that map could have been. Uh, for the uh, rescue team if they had it at the right time. But unfortunately, at that time that I made the map, it was too late. Uh, later on, I decided to uh, start um, acting quickly and then uh, ever since I'm working in the disaster management field and I try to, uh, uh, well, whenever a disaster happens, I try to uh, get the images and the maps of the area and then put, the, put them together to generate a damage map. And I uh, work with local and um, international organizations in order to uh, uh, generate damage maps and help the rest. Well, it had a lot of um, engineering uh, field had a lot of positive impacts on my personal life to start with. Uh, it gave me self-confidence. I uh, could survive in a male-dominant field, and I, uh, ever since I, I uh, think that there's no other obstacles that I can actually uh, overcome. And um, also in engineering, we learn how to do optimization, and uh, uh, you always have to design based on. Uh, cost and the quality of the project and then there you should keep the balance and that's very important a very important skill for the uh, life as well because life is not perfect so uh, you have to balance like uh, different situations so that also helped me uh, with, uh, with life skills. 